Well, the Blazers took on Russell Westbrook and the Washington Wizards tonight in hopes to extend their win streak. Well, the Blazers came out hot with 43 points in the first quarter against the Wizards. And there's Dame right off the bat. First of all, let's, let, let's talk about this. Russell Westbrook, Damian Lilly, you know it's something. There's Dame right off the bat. Deep three, setting the tone. Next, we're going to see some active hands from the Blazers, which leads to a nice dunk by Derrick Jones Jr. But that was about as positive as it gets because this thing went back and forth, especially in the second half. Blazers fought hard in that third quarter, especially. It just it looked like a couple times the Blazers had a few chances to control this game. But the Wizards just had a huge fourth quarter, and it made all the difference. In, in this one, Blazers dropped a tough one at home. Damian Lillard and Ennis Cantor breaking down what went wrong tonight. Uh, we got uh, a lot of quality looks tonight, and the ball just wasn't going in. And, uh, you know, that means on the defensive end, you got to be even sharper. And I think we were in moments, you know. We were in stretches. Like, you know, the first quarter, the third quarter, I thought we were much better defensively than the second and the fourth. But, um, you know, we, we just um, got to be better. We cannot let our uh, offense affect our, affect our uh, defense. You know, that is uh, very, very important. Heading down to Eugene now, Coach Altman and the Ducks extended their winning streak to five games tonight, taking down the Utes 67-64. Chris Duarte led the Ducks with 15 points, four rebounds, and two assists. Oregon will look to nab its sixth straight win when they face USC on Monday. All right, Donna Corvallis, Oregon State men looking to stay hot against Colorado this evening. The Buffs came out though and they really controlled this game all night taking the 35 to 29 lead into halftime. The Beavers fought back. They fought back though, bringing the game within just four with 30 seconds left, but they just couldn't overcome the deficit and take the loss 61 to 57 at home. Ethan Thompson though, pretty solid game for the Beavers. He finished with 18 points and seven Assist. All right, y'all. Now let's talk some women's hoops. Oregon State's Aaliyah Goodman is moving her way up in the record books, and after last night's 77 to 52 blowout over USC, Goodman is now just three three pointers away from moving into a tie for third place in program history for three pointers made. Yes, that was a lot of threes I just said, but it's not just Goodman. It's the entire Beavers team. They are leading the entire NCAA in three point percentage. And now Goodman has a chance to move to that third spot tomorrow when the Beavers take on the number eighth ranked UCLA Bruins. And some history made today as the Portland State men's basketball team defeated Idaho on the road 71 to 40. The 40 points scored by the Vandals is the fewest by a D1 opponent in Portland State Big Sky history. Vikings will now look to stay hot and earn their fifth straight win when they take on Northern Colorado on Thursday. Okay, let's head on over to the Diamond, shall we? All right, the Beavers were looking to bounce back against New Mexico after dropping their season opener to Kansas State 3-2, which was their first season opener loss in 12 years. That's just ridiculous, man. But anyways, listen, the answer is yes. The Beavers bounced back, and they absolutely thrashed New Mexico. 14-1, Cooper Jerpy got the win for the Beavs. He pitched five and a third innings with nine strikeouts, and that is what I call a statement and one heck of a bounce back game. So while the Beavers picked up the first win, the Ducks are just looking to get out of the gate. The Ducks season opener series against Omaha was canceled due to COVID-19 protocols. Now the Ducks hope to get things going February 25th when they take on Seattle University. Okay, so I do not care what happens for the rest of the NBA season. This is the dunk of the year. Watch the elevation. Are you kidding me, Mr. Edwards? That, that's just ridiculous. Last night I spilled my, I spit my drink out when I saw that. It was just ridiculous. Just crazy athleticism and a great overall play. But that's all we have for you guys in sports. We will be right back after the break.